Why even try anymore? There's no sense to it. I'm never gonna meet anybody. I should just accept it. Oh, yes, you will. No, I won't. Yeah, maybe you won't. <laughs> I mean, it's hard enough to meet a woman you dislike, much less like. Are my nostrils getting bigger? No. See, why must it be so difficult? Why is all this tension and hostility? Why can't I just walk up to a woman on the street and say, hi, I'm George. How are you? Is that so terrible? Oh, hi. 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 There's just no men out there, you know? I know. I mean, the problem is uh, the good ones, you know, they're good. And they know they're in such demand. They're just not interested in confining themselves to one person. I hate the good ones. Is Jerry one of the good ones? That's a good question. I think he thinks he is. The mediocre ones are available, but they're so insecure about not being one of the good ones that they're always going, oh, I'm not good enough for you. What are you doing with me? And eventually I just go, you're right. You know, maybe you need somebody between good and mediocre. No, maybe I need somebody who has nothing. Somebody who just has to appreciate being with me because he's so desperate. <laughs> I mean, it's gotten to the point when I'm flirting with operators on the phone. I almost made a date with one. Oh, so there's still hope. I don't want hope. Hope is killing me. <laughs> My dream is to become hopeless. When you're hopeless, you don't care. Mm -hmm. And when you don't care, that indifference makes you attractive. Uh -huh. So hopelessness is the key. It's my only hope. 